I'm the worst! So the champion's sister was a Grey Warden? Yes, but oh, that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? The involvement of the Grey Wardens makes perfect sense. And the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that Warden Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced what? them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. What? Motive and opportunity. It's still not, not what you think. I'm not quite sure what they're talking about. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. Wh what did we do? Jeez. The treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who she was now. Even the Viscount was taking notice. The Grey Wardens left Kirkwall. It was months before we learned Bethany survived. Is she okay? Three years later, the Kunari wow. still had Wow, that's excessive. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. I can't believe I did that. It was so irresponsible of me. Carver's dead and Bethany's got a, sh a short ticking lifespan now because of me. And one in a calling she didn't choose. She's as much in prison now as she would have been if she'd have been part of the circle. Is this my house? Or the Viscounts? I think it's the Viscounts place. The compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage, but these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, what? this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Me? Him? What? So me and the Viscount are on, like, chill? Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now... Oh. The Arishok has me? requested you. How about that? Name. What did you do? Uh, small things, brief but honest? Yeah. I got his attention a couple of times. I guess I impressed him, but that was years ago. It makes no sense. And it doesn't matter. I just need them quiet. I can't help it if I make an impression. Apparently not. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have You're influence welcome. above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sarah? Blessed Sarah Hawk. I'm like, that's not my name. Have the years been kind to Seamus? Well, he is his own man. But your actions tempered him oh. somewhat. He's not so angry at okay. the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what oh, he is becoming. Oh, that's, that's good. Uh, any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of, begone. 
If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange, well, it is you interesting would be right. because he could just uh, he could just contact me directly. I'm sure. Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done He's so. He's taken many years to come to his decision, apparently. The Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that yeah, this exactly. Has gone on this so is long. so odd. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh, you have doubts? There were breaches. They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something mm. else. I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued. Behind Wise closed words. doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Okay. I'm always willing to assist. Well, that is an attitude well, this city has lacked for a long time. I don't know. The bribing thing seems weird. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. Mm. Is this a paid position? I'm somewhat in demand. You've served yourself, built a fortune. I give you that. But if you, and only you, cannot calm this situation, I fear the only reliable investment will be in swords and armor. Serve your city, and then we will talk about what you are due. The Arishok is waiting. I should spend more time with my boy. This life is too short. Woo! Stepping down is looking more and more appealing. I bet. Um... Wow. Is there a faction in this city that likes their neighbors? You wouldn't know it from my list So of how long has this been? Um... Uh, strength again. Um, I should maybe get the Reaver one. Or I could get an upgrade for Mighty Blow. Or... Oh, I do like that. Okay. Level 12, wow. I didn't realize. Isabella's ongoing search. Well, geez, what? Is this Act 2? Demands the Cune. Uh. Huh. Oh, black powder courtesy. Whoa! Okay. O okay. Okay. Okay, well, I'm not sure. I've just kind of been doing several recordings, but um, I guess I will. I will call this one here. It seems like a good place to stop, and then we will carry on a bit. Oh, gall. Okay, the thing is, is I don't. I almost don't want to lose the integrity of my first time playing through. The next time I play, I won't bring Bethany with me, but. This is what happened, you know? This is what happened as a result of Hawk's actions, deciding that the risk was worth the reward, but she didn't quite realize she was hot-headed and impetuous and did not realize the full risk to her sister by going down there. And apparently, I don't know if it would happen to anybody else, but it happened. And now, Hawk, hopefully this will help maybe kind of give her, like... She's going to carry around, perhaps carry, has already carried around a little bit of guilt for Carver, or at least sorrow. Now she's got to carry around the guilt for her sister's condition. 
that's gonna weigh on her a little bit. Maybe make her a little less, you know, risk and reward type thing. You know, a little less hot headed. And she's been it's been a few years apparently. So, you know, hope. I mean, she'll still be the same person, I think. But I think she's gonna carry that around a little bit more heavily than she would have otherwise if they hadn't happened. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, that was really cool. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> um, I That was definitely amazing. So um, thank you guys again. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age 2 where hopefully I haven't rushed everything, but we didn't have any more quests to do, so I feel like we did okay, but... Okay, okay, Ooh, we got, okay. We got, how long has it been? When do I get my cool armor? What is this? I got, like, plate mail or something. Oh, I have two Helms of Victory. Are they exactly the same? They are. Plate armor. It's not as good as what I've got. <clears throat> um... I will toss you, toss you, March of Thunder. Wait, uh, yes, uh, Valdesign. 28 spirit damage. I'll be dang nabbed. Okay, we have important things to do, important things to do. Door? Wait, what? Okay. Door? Oh, hey. Well, you have certainly risen through the rank. Good for you. Is it complex? Ha ha ha! I think it used to only be standard. Now it's upped. Where are my friends? Where is my sister? Has she come back? Aveline's still here. Aveline! I do hope the Viscount remembers to eat supper today. Oh, okay. Famous. Seamus, wasn't it? The Viscount's boy? The most beautiful You're boy here I've seen often, here. Sir Arhawk. A good influence, I think. You started something, helping me as you did. Um, I'm glad. I still accept no blame for defending Kunari. And I don't miss the kinship of the people who oppose what I believe. Um. Uh, what? Uh, the Arashok asked for me. I think they're a headache, but so are many people. You've already treated them with more grace than most. Mere existence should not be an offense, no matter how they challenge the Chantry. Not when some of their ideas are so compelling. You all right there? Another time, when things are better. Okay. Do you know something? Where am I? <laughs> Isn't. Oh, she's up Fine. here? Evelyn, are you over here? <gasps> She's not over here. She's in here now. Oh, just open the door. Evelyn! We'll need to give them answers by tomorrow, Captain. Oh, she looks good. Them. Dismissed. The Seneschal was particularly vocal. Dismissed. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Did you get a scarf? Is the scarf You'd new? You'd think the Captain of the Guard could requisition a Templar or two, but no, that would be demeaning. Can't have them working for the people when eternity needs a nanny. <laughs> That's why I remain unimportant. Less pressure. Indeed! The return of the Amels hasn't set Hightown on its ear. Oh, it's not a big as deal to me. As long as it's off its ass. <laughs> sure, have your fun. But the coin you poured into Kirkwall tipped what balance there was. Wait, what? What? Uh, I didn't realize I was making it worse by getting ahead. I'm just harassing you. Okay. Although you are a bit like the center of a hurricane. You know. You've changed fortunes for many people. Why? Not always for the better. What do you mean? Uh. Sounds like you're spreading yourself pretty thin. I'm trying to make sure my head there are a lot of people half. in my charge. Someone has to look out for them. You are almost you guard the guard two, man. Mama. I don't turn people loose like Jevon. There's additional training, ah, doubled patrols. On. Costs are up, but I've halved injuries. I'll take it and argue with Seneschal Bran later. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's good. 
After the last captain, you couldn't have expected this to be easy. At least I had the guards on my side. Once they understood, they rallied. And those who didn't weren't fit to hold the crest. Stack friends against the enemies. I don't know if I came out ahead, but it's for the better. All right. Grouse all you want, but the Aveline I know doesn't regret a second as captain. They'd have to drag me out of here. <laughs> and I'm sure some are lining up to try. You among them, I bet. Haven't had much time to follow you around. Not that I need to. I can trust that you at least try to do right. I try. I'm with you if you need me, Hawk. Just say the word. Okay! Aveline! Nothing going on, Hawk. <laughs> Aveline, how's Bethany? I don't know how Bethany is. I'm so concerned. I'm very concerned. Are people being nice to me? I'm not used to that. Let's just... We just need to go. Wait, it didn't give me an option to go anywhere. What's going on? It didn't even say, are you sure you want to leave without your full party? Oh, Bowden. there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you, Miss Air. If only you humans didn't all look the same. We can't all be short and bearded like your people, Bowden. <laughs> Indeed. It's quite a shame, really. <laughs> I came to deliver this to you, the last of the proceeds from all that treasure you found in the deep roads. It seems your friend Varric found a buyer after all, yes? Oh, Quite okay. well done. Uh... So you raced here just to give me this? Oh, I didn't want to be responsible for so much coin. Just holding that purse was making me sweat. <laughs> uh, before I go... We're staying in so you're in my house? I am that you've allowed my boy to stay in your oh, home. Oh, wait, what? What what? I said I would repay you for saving Sandal's life, and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know he is safe. Uh you don't need to. You know what I mean? I didn't ask you to be my manservant, Bowden. But I owe you a debt, and after what happened in the deep roads, I have no other way to repay you. I'll leave you to your adventures. Your mother asks that you return to the mansion <laughs> when you have a chance. <laughs> so he's gonna be like my seneschal. Oh my gosh, I got the 50 coin back. Well, how about that? What now? Quiet day in high town. Who's over there? Where, 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 where am I going? I don't even know. Is that my house? That's my house. Should I go to my house? Oh my gosh, my house is right there. Wow. I don't know if I want to see my mom. The weather hasn't changed at all. Wow. So, wow, the Hawk Estate. Wow. Wow. Oh boy. Oh, you look nice, Mom. The house looks nice. Are you are you happy? My puppy! I should have brought him with me. I didn't even think I kept forgetting to call him in, even when it would have been very helpful. Uh it is quite nice. I'm just worried. I'm worried about my mom and my sister. What am I wearing? Oh, it's not bad. Oh, is this like my casual wear or something? Howdy! You've settled in nicely. It's just luck. And skill. And skill. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way... So, how can I be of service this time? Someone's trying to be a guard, poorly. Okay, Remember actually, what Emmerich, is up with that leg thing? He wants your help, 
and some sort of official sanction. Oh, what? Official sanction? For his investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected, and he won't be quiet. Uh... You don't think it's worth investigating? I have. He even convinced one of my lieutenants to raid the Dupuis mansion. Nothing oh, there. Boy. You wouldn't believe how much ass I had to kiss after that. <laughs> Bloody hobbyist constable. <laughs> Why can't he spend his declining years building a boat or something? <laughs> uh, it seems like it should be easy to prove if there are bodies. Kirkwall isn't the safest place. That doesn't mean everything terrible is related. There's no sense to that. Can't be. Uh... I seem to recall he had some good leads. Then you won't mind chasing his threads. <laughs> if it leads somewhere, I'll pick it up. Right now, he's just distracting my men. He's in the gallows. Do what you can. Thanks, Hawk. I'll try not to make a habit of this. Okay. Why? What the? I don't like it. I, I, why am I walking around? It's like, like a robe. It's like a schoolgirl outfit. Like, I like the top, but I don't like the bottom. Oh, hey, my storage stuff. Wow! Where's my sister? Oh, wait. I don't think, um... Oh. This is all the stuff that I did last time. Jeez. Hope so, friends. Well, I thought you in the past three years. Without your kindness, my Fenrir would have been long since sold to slavers and said he's thriving and began to master his magic. But now his nightmares have caught up with him, and neither the keeper nor the first enchanter know how to help. I don't know where else to turn. Please come to my home in the alien age. I will be willing to speak with you. Thank you again for the compassion you have shown him in the past. Hawk, I don't remember me, but you helped me to deal with the card a few years back. Given the general disreputable characters and Kirkwall, I'll be giving up hope, and I swore I would reward you properly. Take these coins in the enclosed package. My men and I are preparing to leave Ravane before King Balin's assassins catch up with us again. If the stone favors us, we'll find Cal Shirok in safety soon. If the Harrowmonts survive this dire time, your name and deeds will be recorded in the memories. Okay. Many people in the city owe you their lives, and I am one of them. When my friends and I were cornered by Templars, you helped us escape. Over the years, most Starkhaven apostates have been captured, but thanks to the help of many people, I have remained free. You've done so much for the apostates. If you are moved to do more, contact Mistress Selby near the docks. She knows in many ways you could save more lives. Oh, okay, I remember you. Sora Hawk. Years passed, I fell into wickedness and was swept up in the mad... Who is it? Iduna. Mad ambitions of the blood mage Tyrion. You spared my life at the Blooming Rose. Oh, and for many months I wished you would kill me. But I found the Maker's light in my deepest despair, and I now seek absolution. Tyrion met many tomes containing dark secrets shielded from the Fade. She broke them with demons forged into their very bindings. You must find and destroy these tomes, lest others follow her dark path. I wish I could help you, but the Templars never let me leave my cell. I can only send my prayers. Okie dokie, then. Life with the Daedalus hasn't been easy. Keep her mouth hard as her best, but I don't know what else she can do for me. The younger elves won't accept me, and often I hear them whispering behind my back. Others have more discretion, but I can see it in their eyes. They're afraid of me. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Sometimes it feels like you're the only person I can trust. Okay. Feeling inadequate. <laughs> uh... But I'm not... A, uh, what is this? What is this spam? <laughs> uh, I think you sent my daughter from the monster... Leah has found a hero in you. She's been interested in sword play and combat. She speaks of joining the guard one day. She seems none the worse for wear. All right, good, 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 good. Because I was kind of, I was kind of worried about that. Oh, it's Price. I'm glad to hear Ethanol took no vengeance on you for helping me. I surely would have died in her service. My sisters are both mates now, and I've been proving myself an able shepherd. I've been granted two ewes of my own to start a flock. I heard you made a name for the Kirkwall. My hopes for your, my hopes for your continued success. Thank you again. Transcribed by the Lady of the House for Price. Oh, strangely official-looking letter. Hang on, how many do we have? Okay. I am Lord Akim Falk of Starkhaven. I have faith in the maker and address it. Blah, 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 blah. Years ago, I served the office of Seneschal to the royal family of Starkhaven. Sadly, they have been disposed also by Fau Usurper. I represent his royal highness, Prince Corbinian Vale, the true heir to the throne. With your help, make a willing. We will, not, we will see him wear the crown of Starkhaven once more. His highness has had a fortune of 11,000 sovereigns locked away in the vaults of the Bank of With its access to the fortune, he can raise an army to retake the throne. But it's too dangerous for his highness to simply withdraw the funds themselves. This will require your assistance and discretion. Why are you asking me? Simply send me the details of an open bank account in Kirkwall and I arrange that the funds are transferred to you. My king will then contact you to receive his fortune, leaving you with a hefty reward. I must warn you, the teams will not consider the account viable for the king's less than 100 sovereigns. Oh. Okay. Strange letter from Bullring. Hawk. 
Heard you got to the free marches. Don't know why you'd bother, but I suppose it's better than Orlay. They got spiders up there. Big ones couldn't swing a dead cat here without hitting a giant spider, but the blight drove him off. Make or dark days ahead. Mark my words. A man can't even cover his blighted land with poisonous traps. That guy! I remember, like, I, di I didn't help him out. I feel kind of bad. Gambling a mouth. Payment is not two minutes late, Sarah. Interest accrues, as you are well aware. You will find yourself barred from our seven. Think no better. Call sharp with numbers. Runner. How was, okay, you want me to freaking take care of your stuff? Do I have to click on them? A message from Lothering. Dearest Leander, I hope you and the children are holding up. I'm so sorry about Carver. I remember the bly, the dear boy helping me trap rats in the cellar. The bly's taking too much from us. Thank the maker for the hero, for them, the Grey Wardens. Things are slowly getting back to normal in most parts of the country, but Lothering has gone for good. We'd hope to rebuild there, but the blight poisoned the land. It'll take decades for the earth to recover. It may never. Redcliffe is a nice place, and I'm starting to see it as home. The village has some trouble during the blight, but it's recovering. Perhaps you could visit sometime. Some trouble. Hmm. Please write me again, my dear. I wish to hear about your life in Kirkwall. Some of my regrets and fond regards to your children. Lady, so it's official. I'm a Grey Warden. It's from Bethany! Strath says I'm unlucky that the Warden's Ritual has kept the taint at bay. Not sure if I call it luck, but I'm alive. It's been brutal going through this. I have awful nightmares. I close my eyes and hear whispering, is it real or I'm going mad? I'll survive that too. That's my life now. Survival getting through each day. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Tell Mother I miss her. With love, Bethany. Oh, does it? If you click on it, does it mean... Well, I have to accept it, right? Okay. She didn't want to die. If she'd have wanted to die, I might have let her. I probably wouldn't have, but... It's, you gotta live. You gotta live to make any changes, to do anything. And being a Grey Warden isn't all bad. It's good for... especially. I think it's especially good for mages in some ways, you know? She'll, the nightmares will go away. Is... That Isabella. Who carves that into a stairwell? What? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Hi, Mom. It's strange living here again. My childhood home. Now owned by my child. It's not something I could have imagined when I was a little girl staring out this window. I'm still grateful you used your money from the expedition to buy back the estate. I feel like an Amel again. I'm going to make the name Hawk one to be proud of in this city. I don't doubt it. Your father would have said that with that exact look, too. I just wish we could all be together as a family one more time. Just don't go all pompous on me, all right? I promise. If there's one thing I learned in Ferelden, it's that good people can be born in a hut as easily as a palace. Honestly, after so many years as a peasant's wife, it feels strange to have nothing to do. But I can't spend the rest of my life mourning Bethany and Carver. They're gone. Bethany's still alive! I guess I just need to start picking you out a suitable husband. What? <laughs> no, Mommy! No! I've been wondering if I shouldn't remarry. I think that would I'm be sure okay. I'm sure the last thing you need is your mother watching over your shoulder every time you come home. Maybe you should get remarried. But perhaps there is still life once your children have outgrown you. I want you to be happy. I do, you know? You've been through a lot. You deserve any joy you can find. Find yourself Thank a husband. You, love. No one could ever replace your father. I know. But it is refreshing to think I could still be courted at this age. <laughs> Wouldn't it be, though? <laughs> Seneschal Bran has a son about your age. Eh, uh, not Seneschal Bran, please. I like the doggy. Oh, yeah, you would. Bark! <laughs> Ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> oh, you found a friend, I'm dog. Ruff, ruff. Hey, looks like they're having a nice chat. <laughs> Maybe Sandra picked up some Mabari speak from our time at the hero of Ferelden's camp. Exactly. <laughs> uh, what's this enchantment stuff? Door? What? Need to explore my house. I don't know what's in here. What is this place? Examine. Didn't Fenris say all Tevinter wine is made from the blood and tears of slaves? <laughs> I hope he was exaggerating. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yikes! Sorry, I was expecting treasure, not spiders. Get well soon, love, Isabella. Why do I let her drag me into these things? What? 
Huh? Oh, like something we did earlier? Why are we having so many eyes follow me around the room? What creepy? That thing's eyes? Why is Isabella in my house? The pursuit of knowledge by Brother Genitivi. Zarek recommended this book, didn't he? Well, let's read it then. This is a nice place. I like the music. We already looked at that. Okay. Um. That's the way well, out. <laughs> what? It's on the desk. That's where I'll. <laughs> Bowden, he's like gonna love. He's like loving the butler thing. Handprints. Was someone swinging on the chandelier? What? A sandal. Yeah, wow. Make his breath. Put some clothes on, man. What? Who? What? This guy, the statue, or like a guy outside? See this crest hanging somewhere in the Viscount's keep. Oh, did you? That's Mother's room. Ah. I shouldn't intrude. Oh, okay. Is this my room? Hey, nice room. Poor Prince. Ah. I told him to stay off the bed. No, Puppy can keep on the bed. Everything that's left of my life in Lothering. Oh, wow, okay. Jeez. Finery. <laughs> Uh, uh, what, what finery? Wait, oh. Is that what I'm wearing right now? Okay. I see Varric's taken it upon himself to add certain embellishments to my journal. I keep a journal! Cute. Okay. I am not logged in right now, so... Because it wouldn't let me be logged in. It logged me out. Okay. What? Well, I went up there. Okay. We're good. I think I've looked at everything. What's this? Oh. Right. The, K the calendar. K -k -k. Oh, that dog. Well, maybe two marks add character to the piece. Right, right. Let me look at my... Did I get another letter or something? It, nope, but some of them went away. Alright, well... Yeah, put my armor on. I need to have a dressing room right there. Um, I'm just gonna go... I'm gonna go talk to people. Wow, we are right next door, huh, Ferris? <laughs> How's it going? The higher your defense score. Ah. That's the cunning. Doors closed. Anything changed? Nothing's changed in the last, what, three years? I don't know. Still got the same dead bodies. This is so weird. Anything changed? Nope. Still the same dead bodies everywhere. So the Seneschal's tax collector won't be coming around again like you asked. Funny story. <laughs> I'll pass, but thank you for the help. <laughs> Oil sport. Why you want to squat up here in Hightown is beyond me. I like the view. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey, hey, what? Three years. Three years, jeez. You doing still all right? no sign of Denarius. I'm beginning to wonder if he's finally given up. This is his mansion, isn't it? He must know you're here. I feel like no time Would has passed. Would you be surprised to learn that it isn't, in fact, his mansion? It uh, belongs yes? to a Tevinter merchant, one who has evidently given up on the place. Perhaps he is dead. Perhaps Denarius killed him. Either way, if Denarius is aware of my presence, he has done nothing. Uh Don't tell me you're going to miss all the attention. Ha! Tell me, what do you do when you stop running? Huh. Do you 
you really not know? My first memory is receiving these markings. Wow, the how Miriam old were being you? branded into my flesh. The agony wiped away everything. Whatever life I had before I became a slave, it's lost. I shouldn't trouble you with this. My problems are not yours. You don't know who you were. Fenris was the name we Daenerys bestowed out. upon me, his little wolf. If I once had another name or a family, then they were taken from me. But again, this is not your concern. It could be. I might be able to help with your problems. Or give you a few more. Uh, lighten up. <laughs> <laughs> Only a few. <laughs> it depends if I really work at it. <laughs> Tempting. You're a beautiful woman, Hawk. Is there no one else who has your attention? Uh... <laughs> what, should, what should I say? Um, not just you, but uh, you think I'm beautiful or not yet? Hmm. Uh, maybe we'll we'll tease him. Maybe. The day is still young. <laughs> I'm an escaped slave and an elf living in a borrowed mansion. None of those things bother you. <laughs> and I'm a refugee as well as a human. Does that bother you? You have me there. You raise an interesting point. I'll have to consider it. Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot, we got the friendship! Oh no! <laughs> Oh no! I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh well. I'm sure everything will be fine. We should move on. You did not change in the last three years. Jeez. All right, out we go. To where oh we could go where okay so next down would be anders yeah and then if ferrick and uh isabella are still there and then meryl's house so we're going on to anders clinic i'm pretty sure that one entry by the way that i was reading about the guy from like Rivian or antiva or whatever i'm pretty sure that's part of the exiled prince dlc so i'll have to get that soon don't forget to spend both points, Tiddly Lee Lee. Open both these doors. Um. Okay, nothing's changed with you either, it looks like. Wait. How did, uh, did I. I didn't miss this before. I think I already had that, though. Don't come running to me next time you pick up one of these diseases. Isn't that the point of magic? <laughs> Isabella's I everywhere! Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. The Templars are hunting you? Not me specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. Well, yeah, he could stay... Uh... <laughs> Don't tell me these things. I might have to lock you up to keep them off Oh, you. okay, that's weird. Sweetheart, I'm not letting you <laughs> lock me up. You included. <laughs> the Night Commander is out of control. Even her own people have been talking about it. The curfews, the midnight raids on mages' families. Everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. Oh, jeez. Um, oh, boy. I bet Justice loves it. Um... Oh, they, I'd rather, I almost would rather do these, but I'm, I'm interested to see. They're kind of cheesy, though, you know? If they want you, they'll have to come through me. Well, that's true. Just being with me puts you at risk. I'm always at the risk. The Knight Commander has declared supporting apostates a hanging offense. The thought of them hurting you. Everything I've done to control this. I don't care. I would drown us in blood to keep you safe. <laughs> You're so romantic. I kind of want to say that. <laughs> should I say stay in control? I don't know. We'll do you that one. You don't think we should start with flowers? Jewelry? 
If that's the man you're looking for, you're in the wrong place. There will be more violence. I know that. If you tie yourself to me, I'll only hurt you. Oh, uh... We'll go the middle route. You keep saying that. You haven't yet. Yeah, try you it, boy. You have a normal life. You don't want to be with an apostate. I don't want to be with anybody don't yet. Don't tempt me. Not unless you're ready for what that means. I am about to swoon, okay? I'm about to swoon. Woo! <laughs> I know it's a bad idea. I know it's a bad idea. The Templars have become more active in their hunt for me. Well, he could seriously stay, stay at my place. Long. I was going to say, Bethany's hiding at my place, and she's an apostate, but apparently she's not. See, the thing is, is like I, I wish my heart could talk to him about him being a mage in, and a Grey Warden also, you know? To kind of see, like, where Beth, how Bethany might be doing? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I sort of unintentionally made it so that she was perhaps like Anders when he was younger. I don't I think she's still a jester or humorous or whatever, but I think that hides a lot more pain, and he's letting the pain show through a little bit more. But I don't know, I could I could see it. I could see it happening. I'm not gonna lie. And it may just kill me one day. Was the where's that what's that other one? Another travel spot. Oh. Oh yeah. There's the elevator and then there's just this. Okay, so when we have the hanged man. I don't know what kind of trouble I'm gonna get into romancing two people at the same time, but we'll see what happens. I'm not even romancing yet. Oh! Roderick? I don't know that name. Isabella, how's it going? It's like you haven't moved in three years. Hee <laughs> hee! It's easier for people to find me this way. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The right, one that was three find? years ago. I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. Isn't that what you said last time? Tee! Oh! You mean when I went digging for that stash? Yes. That turned out to contain several badly written poems and an old boot. Hey, that's a good story. It could have contained the relic. It's a good story. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. I'd do it for a kiss. <laughs> Rats. Talk to me when Wait, the time comes. dang it, no! If I learn and... No! No, hang on, hang on. Oh, uh, no, hang on. <laughs> dang it. I was, I, my, like... My like head or like my my headphones are doing something. My fingers twitched and they hit the wrong one. I wanted to say rats because that would be funny. Right, I need to go talk to the canary. Woohoo! That's gonna be fun. I have to bring Fenris. He knows how to do things with the canary. It's like you. It. Have a move. Remember? I've been following Yay. a lead. I'm. Listen. Uh, it. it I just thought I'd let you know Rats. that I made it. <laughs> and here I was hoping you'd forgotten. <laughs> if I learn anything new, you'll be the first to hear about it. Thank you. Hee <laughs> hee. There's uh, more people in here? I'm not sure. I thought I'd be rivalry with Isabella, but apparently not. Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Who's Blondie? Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... You must have plans. Hmm. No yeah. plans yet. I'm simply trying to look out for my mother. Exactly. After everything that happened with Bethany, that's probably good thinking. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. Uh, it's good to hear you're sticking around. I could never leave you. <laughs> what would I do without my trusty dwarf? <laughs> I'd cry myself to sleep without you. <laughs> oh, don't get all teary-eyed on me, Hawk. 
You know I can't stand to see a human cry. <laughs> so, we've got a whole city state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? What's what are we doing now? Oh, are those new? Those are cool. I think those are new. <laughs> this is the best tavern in Kirkwall. <laughs> I could use some cute dwarven. All right, so Meryl is the last one, right? Yeah. Maybe we should go see what the Dalish are doing, too. I should go see what the Canary are up to. Me. <laughs> Do you not have a... By the Dread Wolf! <laughs> why is my house always such a mess? Why? 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 <gasps> Why don't I have one for Meryl? Did I? It's clean did I? Did I do something wrong? What is this, Meryl? Meryl, what is that? That was not here before. That looks kind of like an alluvian and also the mirror. The the mirror of transformation. Meryl, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> 